Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, we keep going. We are now going to get into um, deposits. So it's the cash receipt series. Uh, we started out with looking at the customer ledger entries and applying uh, an entry inside the customer ledger entries. Then we received cash with the cash receipt journal. And now we're going to take a look at the deposit screen. Um, the deposit screen effectively can do the same thing um, or the cash, cash receipt journal can do the same thing as the deposit screen. The deposit screen is more focused on only deposits. Um, where you can do more things in the cash receipt journal. Um, so let's take a look at that. If I go here into new deposit, I'm creating a deposit um, to receive into the bank. So I get this screen and the idea behind the deposit is, is that it kind of looks like the deposit slip that you would take to the bank uh, if you have checks and things like that. Um, Things are increasingly more digital today. And I know in Europe, there's uh, most of the transactions are all are digital. So that's more just import for the banks. But uh, in the US, we still have a lot of checks. And uh, and so we actually do go to the bank with deposits or we have a lockbox or something like that. Um, and in here, so this screen is meant to actually uh, function as a deposit slip for checks. I do believe this is a US only module. Um, it might be in some other countries, but I don't think it's in, it's definitely not in the worldwide version. So that's another note. Um, if I come in here, oh, let me just see. Um, I get a new deposit number right here. And I'm just gonna pick the account number, uh, bank account number. That's gonna be our operating account. And then I say, well, I'm getting $25,000 to deposit right here. I put the to uh, posting date, which is when I want to post into the chart and the document date, which is the actual document date of the slip. Those might be different. Um, uh, it's up to you. So I have $25,000 here for the total deposit. And now I can come in here and say, um, we have a customer and it's going to be the Canon group again. Uh, and we got paid from them and the check from them was uh, 58223 and the amount was 15,000. Uh, then we also got a check from uh, New Concepts. Uh, that's the check number for them and that was 10,000. Now, one thing is I'm actually not going to post that here, but look, if I actually go into the account type, I do have multiple options here. I can actually have this come uh, from a GL account. So it can come straight from a GL account into the back account, which would be a, a real exception most of the time. It could come from a vendor. What that means is that we are getting a refund from a vendor. We can deposit that into uh, the bank account. And then, of course, it could come from another bank account. That would be a transfer. Um, I'm not really sure where fixed asset intercompany or employee would play here. Maybe you could actually post it from an employee uh, that they paid the company back, etc. Um, but again, I think those are pretty much exceptions. The vendor, though, is interesting. You do get refunds from vendors. Um, OK, so now we've set this up. We have the check number, we have the credit amount, etc. And I can just go ahead and post this. Uh, post the slip. Now it's gone. And again, I'm going to go and take a look at the uh, customer account. And go into navigate for the entries. And I can see that uh, we got the 15,000 in here. Now, I did not apply it in the deposit. Uh, you saw how I applied it before and um, I just left this open intentionally. So, but you could have obviously gone into the deposit uh, and go into apply entries and pick the entries there. Uh, so it would actually close out automatically the amounts. Uh, and that's how deposits work. Um, pretty straightforward. 
Uh, next, I'm going to take a look at uh, how to actually unapply and reverse. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like it and subscribe.